Because a new world order, the business of the day for the elite when they're coming to take your freedoms away. We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the Pacific. That is the judgment of our Nuclear Regulatory Commission and many other experts. Furthermore, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and public health experts do not recommend that people in the United States take precautionary measures beyond staying informed. And going forward, we will continue to keep the American people fully updated. Because I believe that you must know what I know as president. Oh, for Christ's sake, you don't expect us to believe that, do you? Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. I know it's been a while since I've given you a radiation update. Um, and that's because there's so many good people I've referred you to that are, have their finger on the pulse every day. But when I see posts like this, uh, I'm bound to bring you the information and remind you that I kind of slacked off from it because if people aren't waking up to it, it's fucking killing you and I can't waste my energy. I'm trying to cover so many different things. And there are plenty of people. Kevin Blanche, Christina Consolo, Itchy Cax here on um, YouTube, uh, Miss Milky the Clown, uh, Potter Blog, uh, let's see, uh, who else is there? There's a, there's more of you, there's, there's some of you in the UK, much love to everybody, and I'm sorry I've forgotten all the YouTubers that are doing this. If I've missed you and you'd like to be added as a resource on the Radiation Updates page, um, please let me know, because we need to keep, people come to this page every day, uh, there's a few tweets going out every day, but so, you know, um, I'm using you guys, uh, to get the information out there because I can't keep my finger on it every minute. But this, uh, I had to take the time. It's Sunday night. Um, this is, as you will see when I read the uh, Google plume map or whatever, um, it's it's within the U.S. waters, folks. Uh, has been for over a year, come to find out. Uh, let me read this to you. This is important information. I'll put all these links that you see in there. Um, this, this is the, the whole fucking thing horrified me from day one. That audio you heard of Obama it is equal to fucking genocide. Slow, painful, evil, cruel genocide. People are already dying from it. In fact, some were never fucking born because of it. That is fact. It's not fucking conspiracy theory in any one of you that have anything other than that to say in the comments. I will make it my personal business to find out just to who the fuck you are and release every bit of information because I won't tolerate any trolling activity on this video. This issue is too fucking urgent. Your children are going to die because of this, God damn it. And you need to wake the fuck up. If you don't believe it, then you need to shut the fuck up until you've done the research like all the rest of those people that I just named off have done and have spent day after day trying to inform you. Before I rant, please, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, you know, no, I'm not sorry for the foul language because there's a certain amount of people that won't wake the fuck up unless they hear fuck, and then maybe they'll begin to look. They might look and they might be offended, but at least they looked, and that's the point. And I'll try to calm down now for the rest of you that are offended by foul language because I'm not here to offend anybody unless you're an asshole. Let me read. If you live on the west coast of Canada or the United States, you're pretty much already screwed at this point. Thanks to the Japanese earthquake and tsunami of 2011, radiation levels are already increasing in the food and water. Baby born with thyroid issues linked to radiation are rising quickly, and governments in Canada and the United States are ra raising acceptable levels of certain toxic substances in the food being shipped from Japan. If you live on the west coast of the U.S. or Canada, you may want to reconsider your water filtration method as well as how you select and prepare food. Event, uh, evidently, the nightmare of Fukushima is far from over, another 16 million years to be exact, due to the astonishingly long life of iodine-129. The whole ecosystem of the Pacific coast will be contaminated pretty much forever. There isn't, uh, this isn't a conspiracy theory. This is happening, and it is happening right now. 
The fancy little picture at the top of the article is a Google Earth pic showing you the flow of radiation from the Fukushima nuclear plant after the devastating earthquake and tsunami of 2011. Yes, the sharp pain you just felt in your chest is a sudden realization that the image shows the radiation reaching almost past Hawaii more than a year ago. Among other dangerous radioactive isotopes released from the Fukushima meltdown, iodine-129 also spewed forth from the damaged reactor. Incredibly, this isotope has a half-life of 16 million years. Essentially, the entire West Coast food uh, supply of North America will be contaminated with radiation for unlimited generations. We have fundamentally entered into a new way of life, one that takes a giant leap towards illness, disease, and heightened mortality rates. Consider the water supply. Uh, not only does it provide drinking water for humans and animals, but it also irrigates crops. When the supply is contaminated, it influences everything. According to a public health statement by, made by the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, iodine in the ocean enters the air from the sea spray or as iodine gases. Once in the air, iodine can combine with water or with water particles in the air and can enter the soil and surface water or land on vegetation when these particles fall to the ground or when it rains. Iodine can remain in the soil for a long time because it combines with organic material in the soil. It can also be taken up by plants that grow in the soil. Cows or other animals that eat these plants will take up the iodine in the plants. Iodine that enters surface water can re-enter as the iod uh, air as iodine gases. The question is, does radioactive iodine spread in the same manner as its natural counterpart? Unfortunately, the answer is unequivocal yes. The agency continues. Radioactive iodine also forms naturally from chemical reactions high in the atmosphere. Most radioactive forms of iodine change very quickly, seconds to days, to stable elements that are not radioactive. However, one form, 129I, changes very slowly, millions of years, and its levels build up in the environment. Before packing up and relocating to Antarctica, a few options are available that can drastically reduce exposure to these harmful elements. Protect and detoxify. Here are several precautions that can help shield individuals from a radioactive food supply. View all fish and crustaceans from the Pacific Ocean as tainted. Always use filtered water for cooking and drinking. Pay attention to the origin of dairy. Wash any produce thoroughly with natural soap and rinse with purified water. Avoid meat from contaminated regions including wild game. Another level of defense is explained in the article. Remove radiation from your produce with calcium bentonite clay. You can also add calcium bentonite clay to your milk and drinking water. Uh, folks, this is a big deal. I'm going to put all these links below that you see here, these sources that came with the, with the photo, so you can check that stuff out. Uh, I'm going to link you to the radiation updates page. This is where you can link up with all those other people that I talked about that have their finger on this every day. And please circulate this information, remix this video, include all the links so that other people can get informed. Uh, the stats are staggering to the, to the point that the everyday person is not going to be able to fathom them because, like I said, it is genocide. This is a blatant lie. This one fact alone should have Obama in jail for the rest of his life. There is no way that you can convince me that the top scientist in this country did not know that this was going to happen and that Obama wasn't informed. His excuse will be that you freaked out. Now, as far as uh, in the post, you heard detoxify. Uh, the bunch of natural detox stuff here on the website, too. So just hover over radiation updates, and you'll get that. The site will be going under some work here as soon as I get time to simplify things. I'm not really liking these drop-down menus, so look for that to change, but the information will still be there. Um, I'm sorry the website itself is behind as far as timeline and updates, um, but again, I got a little burnt out and I, and I cover a lot of stuff, so please rely on the people that are on here, Resonated, uh, Miss Milky, all those people, Rad Chick, much love to you all, keep, keep fighting, uh, we got kids to save future generations and hey heads up folks uh one thing um another way to mitigate i'm going to throw it out there real quick while you can still find it um get the old-fashioned borox has boron boron in your laundry will remove low levels of um radiation from your clothing and if you've got soaking wet shoes you know 
put some in there, let it absorb it, wash the shoes, whatever, but dry them out, but don't walk around. If you've been in downpours, and I don't really care where you are in this country, if you're in a storm that came from west to east on the jet stream and you're in a severe storm, there is there is radiation falling on you, and you need to, to stay healthy, get that out of your clothes. So get, get some borax, um, boron, uh, and, and add that to your laundry. That will help. Uh, bentonite clay, that's good stuff. Uh, you can get that via Amazon. On the website here, you'll see some links. And food, 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 that's the answer. Uh, keep your kids out of the rain. A lot of stuff you can do. Can't make it go away, but you can protect yourself. And this cocksucker Obama should have told you that day one. Day one. Because day one after Fukushima, when he made this statement, about 48 hours later, the first layer of radioactive xenon gas passed over the west coast that's fact you don't believe me go research it and again i'm not going to tolerate any trolling activity anybody says one negative thing about fukushima the reality of the radiation fallout and again i will block you from my channel after i harvest every fucking bit of information i can find about you and you just expect me that's all Keep your mouth shut and go away. I'll never know you existed. And that's the best thing you could do right now on this topic because this topic would have ch killed my children. One in three on the West Coast tested. I'm, keep in mind I have three boys. One in three on the West Coast tested ha now have hyperthyroidism. If I didn't have the gift of God of fucking common sense and got the fuck out of there, one of my children right now would be on the edge of horrific health issues. Thyroid cancer, leukemia, malformed heart, dropping dead while they're trying to climb trees and play ball and ramp their bikes. Fuck you, Obama. Fuck you, you lying cocksucker. You're killing everybody with drones that you can't fucking reach, and you're letting your own people die from radiation. You need to be behind bars from the rest of your life. And I won't rest until you're either the fuck out of this country or you are behind bars everybody else i'm sorry i'm starting to rant again but this is that serious that i don't really care if you're offended at this point you should be more offended by the blatant lie that he told you when fukushima blew up you should be more offended that your fucking local media and your lamestream media aren't bringing this to your face you, you should be pissed off about a lot of other things other than my choice of language right now and if you had been that pissed off about this a while ago because if you look back, from day one at Fukushima, I was screaming at you fucks to get off your ass and hold this cocksucker accountable and to protect your kids. From day one. And I'm still here. And I'm still going to do that. Until, until I guess I die from radioactive fallout. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I do love you guys. Much love. Many thanks. And I'll see you soon.